Hello, this is Barry. And you're watching Barry and the PI. I'm out here by the waterfall and uh, it's a very cool day. It's real windy and uh, it got rain this morning. And it's been kind of overcast most of the day here. So it's a nice day. A little cool, but not too bad. I'm here in my shorts and short sleeve shirt. So it's not that bad. Today I wanted to talk to you about technology. Uh, technology has allowed us as a species to uh, expand our horizon, expand our knowledge, uh, be able to do things that when I was a kid never even thought could happen. There's some fantasy to Dick Tracy talking to his watch. Uh, we didn't even have a television until I, uh, I guess I was about 10 or 11 years old before we got our TV. Austin didn't have any television stations at that time, uh, except uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson, his corporation, got the first license to operate a television station in Austin. Uh, he also got them to the right end that no other station can open in Austin uh, for 20 years. So we had one TV station until the laws changed and they long came to UHF and his license was for a BHF uh, TV station. So later on, Four more stations opened under the UHF uh, law. So uh, we bought the a TV set before uh, the TV station started operating. They had set a date in some 1950. My parents bought us a TV set, and. Uh, my, Mostly my, me and my older brother would sit there and turn the thing on and be all fuzzy and, uh, and they'd have this, uh, the Indian chief and we would sit there and watch that Indian chief for a long time talking about when is he going to start operating, when are we going to get to be able to, to uh, watch something. I wanted to watch Howdy Doody Show. And uh, so we would do that and we would talk about what we're going to be able to see and all that. Finally, we came on and we got our first television. Uh, and uh, what, back, back then, you know, we had a radio. We got our news from the radio and newspaper. Uh, and then uh, later on, as I got to junior high and high school, then we got more television stations and still read the newspaper. And I still prefer to, to use, read the newspaper again. And uh, getting it up on, on the news on TV. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, it's allowed us to progress, grow, expand, make our lives easier. But sometimes some stuff is not that good. And I'm talking about cell phones. I'm not a big fan of cell phones, although I use one mostly to film my videos. And the rest of the time it sits on my desk. Uh, I'll, I'll call Mida at the store and uh, some other people, will, some family members will call here and I'll talk to them. 
usually over a messenger, so I can see who I'm talking to. Uh, I didn't get my first cell phone until uh, about 2003, I think, in Taiwan. One of my uh, uh, private uh, tutoring sessions was with a businessman, a, a Taiwanese businessman, and uh, we had great conversations and stuff. And he said, Barry, you need to get your cell phone. So, he said, come on, let's go. Because I had people with cell phone probably didn't speak English, and I didn't be able to buy one by myself. Uh, so we went over there, and I got a little Nokia. Had a little little screen. Uh, and I got it, and I'd, I'd carry it around just in case I needed to call somebody uh, or some girl was calling me. I didn't always know when they were calling me. And uh, when, when I left Taiwan, I took that cell phone with me. I never looked at it. I did never tried to check anything. I didn't even know how to do check anything. And uh the gets to the US and she finds my cell phone that I hadn't even looked at in a year or so. And uh she found some uh, uh, phone calls from some females in Taiwan. <laughs> she wasn't very happy about that. So uh, I didn't. Uh, I really don't use the cell phone that much, other than taking pictures and videos. You know, I, I didn't use the telephone too much when I was growing up because it cost you every call, cost you. And uh, so we didn't use the phone. Mostly my parents used the phone. Uh, and uh, later on, uh, as I went through college and started my first teaching job, I had a, a phone, regular line phone, and uh, an answering machine. And I connected those together. And my message was, uh, hello, you reached the uh, home of Barry Brookshire, and if you are, if you are, <laughs> Let me see. If he owes you a debt, just leave your number and, uh, well, no, I said, if you're looking for Barry Brookshire to pay off a bill, Barry has disappeared into the Amazon and, and hasn't been seen from since or heard from since. But if you're a pretty young lady, just leave your name and number and I'll get right back to you. <laughs> that was my message on bench. So, uh, I tried to make some humor with it uh, So, uh, things like that. Really, I'm, I, I don't want to be reached sometimes. I might be doing something I don't want anybody to know I'm doing. And so, uh, uh, cell phones are a whole lot of uh, big thing for me. But uh, of course, I want the newest one. Uh, and uh, I don't, uh, you know, 
it's caused a lot of mess in society. You see, kids today, they can't live without their cell phone. They've got it in their hand with them all day long, and all night long, probably. And you see them sitting there and, and, and you know, they know what's going on around them. And they just get too tie, tied up in that. And I don't think that's really great for, for society, but I'm just an old part. And, uh, but it, technology does allow us to progress as a people uh, and have made life much better. You know, uh, when I was a kid, we often had people over on the weekends, and a lot of times we'd, we'd make a homemade ice cream. And the way to do that, you had a bucket, and the thing fits inside it, and you fill up around the that cream uh, with ice, and then you crank it. I had to crank it too many times. And I was a little, little squirty kid anyway. I had a hard time turning that, uh, that ice cream maker. But it sh sure was the best ice cream I've ever tasted though. Uh, now they got them where you just plug it in and it turns the drink and turns the, uh, the ice cream. So things like that are very good. But, uh, and we're exploring the, the universe, our own solar system and beyond. And those are great. And new products come out of all that research that NASA does. So, oh no. I'll accept the uh, new technology grudgingly sometimes, but, uh, but other things are great. And uh, uh, certainly in medical fields and uh, in engineering and home, home crafts and uh, things to cook with has been really uh, a great thing for us. So that's all I just learned to rant about technology and about cell phones and kids and you now they can't live without their cell phones. And uh, well, that's about it. It's a nice day, cool day. We'll be getting the uh, and there's Maida just pulled up. You guys go down to the to the jungle and turn around and come back up. There's not much room to turn around on this little road here. So uh, she'll be here in a minute. Uh, Y'all take care. Have a great day. Uh, stay warm if you're in the United States. And stay dry. We've been getting a lot of rain there, too. Uh, so take care, and we'll uh, see you again tomorrow. Take care of your family. Take care of your pets. And adios.